How's it going? Uh, welcome back to another Lumion 11 new feature tutorial. So uh, in this one, I'm just going to quickly show you how to bring in the new uh, glass um, effect, the rain streaks. Um, this is one that people were kind of like, you know, I'm not going to use that a lot. Like, I don't really want it, but I think it's a pretty cool feature, honestly. Like, the um, it's something that you're not going to use in all your renders, but when you do use it, it's going to be a really nice tool for just kind of setting the scene and kind of giving that added realism. Um, the thing that I'm kind of picturing is like, you know, like a cottage, a big bay window or something like that, and then like a comfy armchair or something next to it. So again, not in all your renders, but I do kind of like them adding in these niche things because then when you do need them, you have them. So uh, what I did is just like in the video at the beginning of the tutorial, I just set up two quick clips, uh, one of them kind of showcasing the rain. Uh, and to get this on, what I'm going to do is you just go into the uh, add effect precipitation and then what you're going to see uh, are these new uh, or this new slider down here so uh, you can actually have the keyframe come in so I'm assuming that that's for like if you're doing a uh, like a sunny to rainy or vice versa um, it's just you can keyframe that in um, but typically I don't do too much of the time lapses like I'll just have uh, kind of pick one scene of like okay it's raining in this one so I'd probably leave it on and then you can change the uh, the size of the streaks um, I'd probably recommend you keep it around like the two area. Like I, you know, you don't want it too big that it looks fake. Like this, um, this is what I had it set for for the video at the beginning, uh, and that's just so I could make sure that it, like you could really see it. Um, but I think that I would probably not go past two. Uh, maybe I'm wrong about that though. Uh, the other thing is you just have the offset, which is like I'm not really sure exactly why. Um, like or I guess what you would use that for, but it's in there and uh, just in case you need it. Um, but yeah, so that's really all you have to do. And then as you can see, we have this scene set up. You just hit play. And then um, we can see the raindrops going down here. The precipitation in the back is um, a little bit strong. So if we just do it like this, uh, you can see it a lot better. And uh, yeah, as I said, it's not a it's not a crazy effect, but I think it's a pretty cool one at least. Um, just because it, it adds that little extra um, bit to your render. Um, and so yeah, so then what we'll do is we'll go to this second clip here. Now in this one, um, the reason why I chose the uh, the glass sphere is because uh, what's interesting about this is that it will actually, um, the raindrops will actually act differently depending on the shape of the glass. So I think in the Lumion 11 um, example, like when they were going through the, like the new features uh, video, that it actually had like a, uh, like a little decoration with a roof on it and it was actually going down the roof, which, is a much better functionality than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I thought this would just kind of be like a material that you could slap on windows. Uh, so I think that that's really cool. Um, for the, yeah, so for the precipit uh, precipitation, what you do again, just go in there, rain streaks, maybe the size goes up. And then when you are ready to render your clip, you just hit play and there you go. And I actually will just turn this down just so we can see it better. But as you can see, so it's actually going down and going around kind of the bend of the sphere. Uh, and yeah, I, I just am... Uh, Pretty happy with this uh, with this effect. So I'll, I'll definitely be trying to make uh, an interior scene soon. M maybe something like a cottage on like a rainy day or something. So that'll be a fun uh, a fun little video to do. So yeah, I um, I plan on releasing a couple more videos um, just looking at some of the new features for Lumion 11. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you help me out with that YouTube algorithm and you hit the subscribe button. If you are subscribed, uh, stay tuned because I'm probably gonna have a couple more videos. Uh, coming today and tomorrow. So I'll see you there.